This video is about maintaining and just diagnosing issues with agaves here in our Arizona desert climate. My name is Eli Hall with AMS Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. Now agaves, there are just so many different varieties. Some people call them century plants, but that's actually just another variety. There's octopus agave, agave americana, peri agave, blue agave, it's just lots of different varieties and they look very cool and they kind of are a little exotic in our climate. They do really well here full sun, very little water. And in fact, um, the Arizona Landscape Contractors Association came out with a great little blog that I'm gonna kind of share here on this video. Um, things that I just thought were very important to share as far as concerning what, you know, what kind of happens to uh, agaves if, um, if you don't see them doing too well. But just to start off, you know, you wanna make sure that they have very good drainage. These plants cannot be sitting in, um, in water, in any, any type of water. They're better on slopes or just areas that just have, you know, where the water doesn't sit. It's very important for that. Uh, the roots will just kind of get moldy and, and die. And you can really see that usually over time. The irrigation, they only require water like one or two times a month, even in the full uh, heat of the summer here in Arizona. And maybe only, you know, once every, you know, four to six weeks in the winter time. So they really require very little water. They get a lot of the water from rain when it rains a few times it does rain here uh, and it absorbs it into the skin of the leaf so they require very little uh, no fertilizer no I mean I yet to fertilize an agave uh, up to this point here they love the sun like I said there's only two major insects that really kill agaves and the first one is an agave running bug uh, the running bug is you know very small uh, seldom seen I'll, I'll try to put an image here of one online you really don't really see them but the the, what you do see is, you know, on the leaves, very small uh, white or yellow spots on the leaves. And that's usually a sign that you're, you're dealing with that. And there's actually, you can use an insectical, insectical, insectical soap, I'm probably saying that wrong, or just a broad spectrum insecticide that you can purchase at, you know, any nursery or um, maybe like a bug and weed mart here in the local uh, Phoenix area. The, the one that is really concerning, uh, that is really untreatable is the, is the um, snout weevil. Now, we've run into these a lot, um, and usually by the time you notice it, it's usually too late. Um, the, the, you'll see them starting to wilt, and it's because what happens is this weevil actually, they're about an inch to an inch and a half long, and they, they go, the females lay eggs in the heart of the agave, and, and their uh, larvae just kind of feed on that after they hatch, and, you know, it'll just naturally damage the agave. And by the time you notice it, it's kind of too late. So the best way to treat that is just to remove the plant and just, you know, clear the area out. And, um, and, and you know, obviously once the, the bugs leave the, the infested area, you can probably plant something else. Um, maybe not, maybe another agave in that area for some time, just to, you know, give that area some time to to really rid itself of the insect infestation. Agaves are a monocarpic, which is, it just means that they bloom once and then they die. I, you know, that's kind of common knowledge here. Um, if you get a big bloom on like a century plant, you'll see them, they just look beautiful. But after they bloom, they're, they're done. And the whole idea is usually they reseed themselves with the bloom. And that's why you'll see a little babies growing around them. And usually after the, you know, the main plant dies, you'll see another plant that kind of takes that area. Sometimes you get several plants that you can move them throughout the yard. But they take a, uh, some, some of these gobbies can get really large and take a very big area of your yard. So make sure you have room because they do have thorns. Um, and because of that, obviously, you know, you don't want them near pathways or anything like that, but they are a real nice accent to your yard. So if you have any questions, once again, my name is Eli Hall with Amos Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. Check out our website at azlawns.com. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at AMS Landscaping. Also check us out on Instagram and Twitter at AC Lawns. Make it a great day.